Right, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can quickly backup photos and videos to your USB drive on a Samsung Galaxy S21 series. Now, before we start, make sure that you get a big enough USB drive to have enough storage space to hold all your photos and videos backup. You also need to grab yourself one of this adapter, USB-C adapter. So you can see here at this end is USB-C and on the other end is USB-A. So get one of this adapter and we're going to plug into your Galaxy S21 series and then we're going to plug in the USB drive into that. Okay, after that, we're going to go back to the home screen. So on the home screen, you want to swipe down at the top and tap on settings. In settings, go down and tap on device, battery and device care, then tap on storage, and then tap on the menu key at the top, tap on events from the pop-up. Then in here, tap on your USB drive. In here, check to see you, if you have enough storage on your device. If your device is full, you can format it. Now formatting your USB drive will cause you to lose all the data. So make sure that you have nothing important that you want to keep on your USB drive. And now we will tap on the format button to erase everything on the USB drive. Once your USB drive has formatted, tap on the done button. And now we are going back to storage. Once you are in storage, now we can tap on the back key and tap on the back key until you go back into your settings menu. In here, tap on accounts and backup. Then tap on external storage transfer. Next, choose USB storage. And in here, you want to deselect everything. So unselect all the options. And we only want to choose images and videos. All right, the next thing that you want to do is tap on images, arrow, and go down here and see if you want to back up everything. If there are certain photos that you do not want to back up, for example, duplicates or uh, any photos that is not important, you can deselect it. Or you can deselect the whole albums up here. So you can deselect them and then tap on done. You can also tap on the right arrow on the videos option. And again, you can choose what you want to back up. You can back up everything or only certain videos. And then tap on the done button. And now that we have selected some videos and photos, I'm going to go into videos and make sure that I back up only the one that I need. So videos is still 6.8, it's quite large. So I see if I can choose a smaller video size. So perhaps I'm going to choose this screen recorder and I'm just going to choose maybe one video and tap on done. Okay, so still 4.89 gigabyte, but that is enough for my USB drive. Now, if I go back in here and say, I do not want to select that, maybe only this one here, tap on done. That is a lot uh, better, it is now less. So I just want to choose only one or two files just to demonstrate the backup process. So I'm gonna go down and tap on the backup button, then tap on okay. And now your photos and videos will perform a backup to the USB drive. Now it is also worth noting that your backup is encrypted. Uh, using your Samsung account. So that means if you want to access the videos files or the photos file on your device, you will need to um, go onto a Samsung device and sign in with your Samsung account in order for you to view the videos and photos, or you can restore them from your USB backup. Now it's nearly done now, it's 95.6% and it is indicating around a minute left. So still um, backing up video, you can see here, it's say one out of one file is being backed up. 
Okay, once the backup is done, it will show you a backup result, giving you a summary of what is being backup. So you got a video here, you got uh, images, 15 images is being backup. Next, tap on the next button and then tap on done to finish off. So if you want to restore your data from your USB drive, you tap on external storage transfer. And then you can see here, there is an option restore from USB storage, you tap on the CO button and then you tap on that and that will allow you to restore if you need it to and that's it. Finally, you can tap on the home key to go back to your home screen. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.